come join us out here. So, it's bright and early. We are going to run some dogs with a lady friend of mine. Um, never done this before. Should be fun. And it's not very cold out. So I think I might be overdressed, but that's okay. See you in a bit. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Oh, I, I know, I left the lights on. I am a proud over owner of a good overhang right now. Overhang? Hang Hangover? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are, Are you, you okay? <laughs> no, I'm fine. And the dogs will shake that right out of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I'm, I'm not antisocial, but this time of year I am. I was like, no, and people are like, come on. I'm like, no, you have no clue what I have to do. Right. And I need my shit together. Yeah. I need my poop in a group. Okay, tell me what I'm doing. Okay, so your job is to, this is a quick release, and this is a snub line. It's securing the ATV so it doesn't take off until I'm on it. Right. Yes, it can happen. Yes, it has happened. <laughs> and sometimes these fail, but not, not so much. So when I'm coming, running back, I'll get on the ATV. I'll give you the cue, pull this, and you'll pull it. It'll release. Just drop it. It's going to stay. And then okay. when we come back, we're going to secure them with this again. But right now, your job is just to stand here. You can do whatever you need to do, and then pull that. Okay. I think I can handle that. You can. I have full faith. And that's it. And then when we take off, we'll be going through those trees and we'll take a hard left. Ready? All right. All right, I'm on. Get out of
get you neutral though, are you? No, I'm helping. Despite what people say, most mushrooms, every kennel I've been at, we don't make them full bus. The oh. harness. Oh. I mean the ATV. Can they? Yes. Sometimes later on in training, I will, on some level parts, make them pull the ATV, but certainly not with the neutral on it.
Set the spot. Set the spot. Yeah, set the spot. Oh, that's the best. You said the best. You ran good. Good job. Yeah, good job. You did good. Yeah, you all did good. Yeah, you did good. What's the matter? What's, what's the matter? Are you the shy puppy? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you good boy. You good boy. Yes, good puppy. You good puppy, huh? You good puppy. Yes, you are. You the best. Yes, you good job. You good job. Just kind of shy, huh? Good boy. Hi, YouTube. How you doing? Good, I hope. In any case, this is Adam and Phyllis from Alaska Cut the Cord, and we sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is the first of a few that are going to be coming out on this subject. Yes. Um, running with the dogs with Julie was amazing. She loves her animals, and you can tell by the way the dogs react with her when they're in the yard and stuff that she just... It was so much fun. Yeah, the the connection between the the owner and the the dogs is really something else. That's what makes it work. Yes. Um, their love for those dogs is no less than what you have for your pets at home. It, it's probably quite a bit more because they really pay attention to their health. Um, they're concerned one hundred percent with their safety. And what we did today was just conditioning of the dogs and getting ready for the season to come. Yeah. And as you know, we live in Willow, and this is where the Iditarod starts. So there is a whole lot of this going on, and it's I feel honored to uh, to be a part of it. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, and and Travis and Carrie, they were so much fun to yeah. be with. And really good at explaining things. Yes. Because neither I nor Phyllis grew up around this whatsoever no. in Wisconsin. So it was it was really uh, kind of eye-opening. Yeah. Yeah. So A lot of work. Talk about the links you got in there. So we've got links to um, Julie and Team Maxwell. Um, support their GoFundMe and their Facebook and then there will be links for Travis and Carrie, um, their Facebook and GoFundMe. Travis and Carrie have children that want to run in the junior I did a rod, so they're trying to raise some money for that. Um, they, it's it's just so much fun. It's so much fun to watch these guys. And Travis and Carrie, by the way, the name of their kennel, even though they share a yard with Julie, their dream team kennels. Mm -hmm. And uh, oddly enough, he's from Wisconsin and she's from Minnesota. I think. Yeah. So I, it's just really weird. They literally live two miles from us and we know some of the same people. And they moved up here as well as Julie to pursue this dream of running dogs. So it's really awesome to say. It's, it's really neat. Yeah. So like we said, check out all the links and, and if you can support him. Um, either of them, it's it's a ton of work. I didn't realize how much work this actually is. You know, you see it on TV and they're just riding the sled. Um, all the work that goes into the training of the dogs and the conditioning of the dogs before a race and the expense of feeding 13 to 20 dogs and all the gear that goes with it and the entry fees to get into the races is really something and, and that's why that's out there so yeah. um we'll support them any way we can we hope you will too if you have any questions or comments on that please please put them put them down below and uh we can get you answers or if you need further info on them we'll more than happy to do so and uh julie's uh co-leader dog 
Solo has an amazing story, and I will put a link, and I think you guys should check that out. Yeah, that's that's really something, what she was able to do with him. He had a condition. Her. her. The yeah. dog. Oh, the dogs are her? The dogs are her. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the dog had a condition early on in his life that... Her life. Yeah. It's still a her. It's still a her. No matter yeah. what. I get to work on my pronouns. <laughs> um, that, that generally is a life-ending situation for a dog. And yeah, Julie brought him around and saved it's her. Still her. It. I said her. <laughs> Quit yelling at me. <laughs> um, but that's all we got for now. So we hope you enjoyed this. And uh, check us out. Uh, the next video is going to be all about cutting wood. Yay. Yeah, usually I talk about how much fun these are. There'd be no fun had in doing the wood, no. but um, it is a necessary evil up here. And yeah, check it out. So until then, this is Adam. And Phyllis. From Alaska Cut the Cord. Love you, bye.